Welcome to this tutorial on setting up Integration Host on Amazon Web Services. In this tutorial, I'll cover the steps to take in order to get an EC2 instance of HR7Soup's Integration Host up and running on AWS Elastic Beanstalk. First, open your AWS Management Console, search for and navigate to the Elastic Beanstalk, click and create a new environment, and select the Web Server Environment option. Give your application and environment an appropriate name before scrolling down to the platform setting. Choose a managed platform and select .NET on Windows Server for the platform. You can leave the branch and version as the default. Scroll down a little further and select the Upload Your Code option. Upload the Integration Host Source Package, which is available in the description of this video. Click the Create Environment button and give it some time to spin up the required resources. Now would be a good time to grab the Integration Host free trial from our website in order to test out your deployment. Grab the 30-day free trial and license Integration Host on your computer. Looking back to AWS, our environment is up and running. So back to the Integration Host client, I'll show you how to connect. It's as easy as opening the settings by clicking the HR7Soup icon in the top left, clicking on the server tab, and entering the URL found on your environment in the AWS Management Console. Let's quickly create an HTTP endpoint that accepts HR7 data so that we can test out our AWS deployment. Click the New button in the top left, select HTTP Receiver as the activity type, let's copy out the URL, and then we can save and close. To test this workflow, I'm just going to use the HR7 Soup Editor to simulate an external system. Here we've got a bunch of example messages ready, so let's just configure the sender. I'll change the activity type to an HTTP sender and paste in the URL. Test the connection by clicking the button and you can see we receive a success. I'll save and close this now and send through a test message and you can see we get a response back. If we bring up integration host, it shows the messages come through and if I refresh the logs, you'll see that the messages come through correctly. Great, we've successfully got a system that can send and receive an AWS. We haven't secured it yet, so next, follow the steps to add SSL to your app. Unlike with Azure, you'll need your own domain account, but don't worry, we've got instructions for configuration linked in the comments. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to contact the team at info at hr7soup.com. And if you found this video helpful, please consider clicking the like button, subscribe to our channel, We've got more videos coming out all the time.